The Australian Open was founded way back in 1905. It's been hosted in all of Australia's major cities and even in New Zealand a couple of times. Bloody Kiwis always claiming our stuff for themselves. It moved to Melbourne Park from the ageing Kuyong in 1988 and has remained there ever since. The Australian Open is the highest attended of all Grand Slams. A massive 812,174 people attended in 2020. Compare that to the US Open's attendance in 2020 of just a little over zero. So with that being said, let's get into the stadiums, or arenas, whatever you want to call them. They're arenas. Rod Laver Arena is named after the legendary player of the 60s and 70s. It was the first tennis venue in the world to have a retractable roof. The arena has the largest capacity and therefore acts as the centre court. It hosts most of the showpiece matches. This arena was recently renamed after John Kane, the late state premier of Victoria. You might think that's arbitrary, but he was an integral figure in keeping the tournament in Melbourne. This arena certainly has a more multi-purpose design. As you can see, the seating doesn't wrap around like it does in Rod Laver Arena. This is so the seats can be raised out of the way for different events such as cycling. It too has a retractable roof. Named after Australia's most successful female player, the Margaret Court Arena, which they should have just called the Margaret Court. Up until recently, it just looked like a larger version of one of the other show courts. It underwent a major redevelopment in 2014 and a retractable roof was added giving the Australian Open its third all-weather arena. More than any other Grand Slam, even though Wimbledon could probably make better use of them. 1573 Arena. You might be wondering why it's called 1573 Arena. Well, actually, it's an initiative by the Australian government to promote mathematics. It's the number of times that Nick Kyrgios has verbally abused a chair umpire divided by the number of times he spat in the face of a ball kid, squared. Just kidding. It's a Chinese distillery. He probably hasn't actually spat in a ball kid's face, but it does sound like something he would do. Show Court 3, which is named after, well, well, it's, it's a show court and it's, it's the third one. Well, it's basically the same as the last one, except it's... In the shade! That's right, Ringo. It now has plenty of shaded seating, which should be a prerequisite as it can get pretty hot in Melbourne. Then you have the outside courts, which at best just consist of a temporary stand or at least a temporary looking stand. I don't know if they stay there all year or not. Doesn't really matter in the slightest, I'm rambling. Anyway, there you have it. A basic rundown of the Australian Open Courts. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.